Hello, how are you doing? Today we're going to do a full face of affordable makeup. Some of these are products that I have been using for years and some of them are newer to my collection. Some of them are things that I'm trying for the first time today. So I was really excited to film this. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I feel like affordable makeup has just come on so much in recent years. So if you would like to see which products I used, then keep on watching. Okay, so I am just going to jump straight in and we're going to start off with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And I'm just taking this all over the face. This has got such a soft feeling on your skin, it is really, really smooth. I believe that it does have silicones in it, so if that's the kind of thing that you don't like, then you may not like this product. But it does really, really smooth out your skin. Next, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is a staple in my daily routine. I absolutely love it. I love the way that it sits on my skin, the way that it looks underneath foundation. It is an absolute favourite of mine. I'm only going to take a little bit of this and I'm just going to pop it on my cheeks just where I have some larger pores. Next I'm going to go on with a product that I've never tried before and this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I feel like I've seen this quite a lot on TikTok and I was in the shops the other day and I saw it so I thought that it would be a really good chance to give it a go. I'm just taking this all over the face. Then I'm going to go in and blend this out with a sponge. So I got this in the shade 2 and it is looking like a really good shade match. I'm really liking the way that it's making my skin look. It has done a really good job at covering up my redness but it still looks quite natural on the skin and you can still see some of my blemishes through. I'm really liking the glow that it's giving my skin as well. So next we're going to go in with concealer and I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer. That was a bit of a mouthful. I'm just going to take this one on some of my blemishes. This is pretty much the only concealer that I used to use. I used to be absolutely obsessed with it. I love the coverage that it gives my skin but it does still give a really natural feel and it is really really comfortable on the skin as well. And I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. I'm just really mainly focusing it on areas where I have a couple more blemishes or if I have some extra redness. For the areas around my chin I just use the shade C2 and now I'm going to go in with the shade C1 for directly underneath my eyes. And again I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. Like I said, I know that I absolutely love both of these concealers. I used to use them loads. They were the only concealers that I would use. I had them in about six different shades for if I ever got tanned or anything in the summer. And I still really, really like them. And it is a massive perk that it is a very reasonable price point. Now we are going to go in with powder. And for directly underneath my eyes, I'm going to take the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I've just got a little mini one of these. And it's just in the shade Translucent. I do really like this powder for directly underneath the eyes. Because it doesn't settle into your creases or anything. So it just helps to keep them really bright and smooth looking. Then I'm going to go in with the classic Rimmel Stay Matte powder over the rest of my face. I feel like if you watched YouTube quite a few years ago everyone had this powder and it is very very good. It keeps your makeup in place really nicely. I have got so many friends that will only use this powder to this day. They won't try anything else and it makes sense. It is a very very good powder. I don't tend to use this powder quite so much anymore because I do just have other ones that I really love but it is one that I will always have in my collection because it is one that I do sometimes just tend to gravitate back towards. So for bronzer I'm going to take the Beauty Bay Powder Bronzer in the shade Donut. I really really like this shade for my kind of skin tone. It has got that tiny bit of a cooler undertone so it's that perfect hybrid between a contour and a bronzer and I just take this on a fluffy brush and just start bouncing it around my cheekbones. It is quite a pigmented product so you do need to go in with a little bit of a lighter hand just as you start working this in. Look at that difference. It's amazing. Then we're going to go in with another Beauty Bay product and this is the Beauty Bay Powder Blusher in the shade Coral. Again you need to go in with quite a light hand with this. It's very pigmented and it is very easy to go a little bit heavy. So I take it directly on the brush and then I just bounce the excess off on my hand and then I will go into the skin. I'm now gonna go in and do my brows and I'm actually gonna take a Pears soap for this. If you know, you know. That's all I need to say. This just is the perfect feathery brow product. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Mario Badescu spray just to wet this a tiny bit and then I will run it through my brows. I probably should have done this before I did my base, but 
we're here now so it's fine we can make it work i'm then going to go in with the maybelline master brow pro palette and i'm just going to use this to fill in some of the sparser areas of my brows i'm not going to do a close-up of this because i have had it for years and to be honest it looks disgusting i don't even know if they make this anymore they might have stopped making it i've probably had this for about five years at least and it is very old and tatty looking but I really like it. To be honest I don't ever really use the shimmer, I just use this brow palette and I used to use the wax quite a lot but over the years I've managed to accidentally spill quite a lot of the powder into the wax so it's now pretty much just completely dried out. The powder in this product is extremely pigmented so you just need a very light hand and I'm just going to apply it to some of the sparser areas of my brows so I'm mainly going to focus it on the tail end of my brows and then you can just really well brush it out afterwards just to help it look that little bit more natural on the brows. I'm now gonna go ahead and do eyes and I absolutely love a Colourpop's eye palettes. So today we are gonna be taking the Colourpop Bambi Pressed Powder Palette. So I'm just gonna start off with this shade here which is Little April Shower and I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. And I'm also going to take this kind of up to my brow bone as well. I absolutely love a Colourpop's pressed powders. They're really pigmented, really easy to blend, easy to use. And then the price point is absolutely amazing for them. I used to order my Colourpop in bulk. So every like six months I would get loads of their products, their new launches and everything. And I would just create this massive order. So I would have this huge box come to my house and it was literally like Christmas. I absolutely loved it. So next I'm gonna go in with the shade Young Prince and I'm just gonna use this to deepen up the crease and the outer edge a little bit more. This palette is very warm toned so I really love it for summertime. Then I'm gonna take Kinda Bashful and I'm just really focusing this on the outer edge and through my crease just to give the eyes a little bit more depth and dimension. Another thing that I do really love about Colourpop is I feel like they just have the best collaborations. To finish off my eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Fly To Your Heart and I'm just taking this directly on my fingers and just patting it onto the center of the lids. I'm now just gonna quickly go ahead and do my lower lash line and I'm just gonna take the shade Young Prince again and I'm just starting on my outer lash line and working my way in. Then for mascara, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It is one that I highly recommend. I use it pretty much every single day and it just does such an amazing job of keeping my lashes curled and in place all day. This particular tube is quite old, so it has gone a little bit clumpy now, but for me personally, I actually really like that look for my lashes, so I really don't mind at all. Next, I'm gonna take the Colourpop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the shade BFF2, and I'm just gonna use this to outline the lips. I'm also just gonna use this to fill in my lips as well. Then lastly, I'm just gonna finish this whole look off with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. This is another one that I've never used before, but again, I see it all the time on TikTok and people seem to absolutely love it, so I really wanted to give it a go. So that is my finished full face of affordable makeup. I really, really like all of these products. I really like the way that my skin's looking at the moment. It has got this really nice radiance and glow. I'm also really happy with how the powder products blended into the base. I feel like they look really seamless and they just melted into the skin. It's gorgeous. The eye products, like I said, I absolutely love Colourpop for eye products. They smash out the park every time. Their shadows are really, really pigmented, but they are easy to use and and obviously it is such an affordable price point which is amazing. I'm really really loving the way that this gloss is looking at the moment. I think it's got this really nice sheen to it. So I will see how well it wears but I did also get a few more shades to try as well so I can definitely let you know what I think of them. I'm really really happy with all of these products and obviously it's a massive perk that all of them do come at a very reasonable price point. Let me know what you think of this look and let me know if you have any affordable makeup products that you would recommend. I would definitely love to give them a go. I hope that you are all having an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye.